want to talk to you a little bit in life about board games and how that relates to life itself. Wow, that sounds a little too broad. Maybe not how it relates to life itself. Maybe how to live your life. I had a lot of opportunities to do public speaking, which probably makes doing stuff like this fairly easy. And in that, I had a, I wouldn't say an audition, but I had a chance to uh, meet with a, a guy that ran a pretty successful television show. And at the time, being a financial advisor, yes, I'm going somewhere with the story. He said, you know, there's hundreds of you in the valley. What makes you so special? What makes you worth being on my show as a guest commentator? So I had to think fast on my feet. And I came up with an analogy that I kind of heard a little bit from somebody before, but it wasn't quite to the detail that I took it to, which is pretty normal for me. So I'm going to share that with you. But I'm also going to share, not from a financial sense, but a life, but I'll, I'll tie both in. Wow, what a great lead up, like a whole minute and a half of lead up. So just before you click off the video, now you're going to get the good stuff, right? The game Monopoly. Now you probably heard about the game Monopoly and hopefully, I know there's a whole generation of people that may have played the electronic version, but we're talking the actual game of Monopoly. When I was a kid, other people before me, the kid, the game of Monopoly had this board, this game about finance and money and everything. It had a couple different ways that you could play the game, strategy-wise. But we're not talking about strategy. We're talking about showing you the game. You either had a friend, a family member, somebody special in your life help you pick out whether you were the thimble or the little car or the hat things like that, help get your bank set up and teach you how to play this game and roll the dice and go around the board and you know collect chance and do what you needed to. If you didn't have that privilege, you had the inside lid. For those of you that hadn't experienced a lot of board games, when you open a board game, often they have instructions now, but they used to have the instructions on the inside of the lid on how to play the game. So you'd learn how to play the game by reading the instructions. So this gentleman I was getting interviewed to be on a show, I tied that analogy and I said, you know, so life doesn't come with somebody to necessarily give you a set of instructions. So I help people show them how to get around the board in real life. And he went, you're on the show. So I got on the show for a while and a big part of my career was a launch of that one statement. What I want to get out there is don't be so stubborn to try to figure out the game for yourself. There's usually a family member or somebody that might help you understand the game better. Whatever that game may be, starting a business, getting through a difficult time, divorce, a family change, getting through the death of a loved one, it doesn't matter. But other people have been there. Not that they're going to know exactly what you're going through, but they might have some relatable stories on how they played the game. Because we don't always have that lid with the instructions to work on. Make sure there's books and other stuff to get. But I would rely on people first. Anyway, just a thought about using games to your advantage. Well, not using games to your advantage. I guess that would be a bad way of saying that. But a thought on how you can learn how to play games from experiencing it with others. It was brought up by God.